Hi, I'm Bela Matyash. I'm the County Health Officer for Solano County. Here in Solano County, we have transitioned from having a, a limited number of cases that we can try to contain to having to accept the fact that we have community transmission of coronavirus and we have to do the best we can to reduce the harm that it can cause. So we're focusing on several things simultaneously. One is to protect the critical infrastructures of our county. So our hospitals, our clinics, ambulance workforce, police and fire, these are critical workforces that have to be maintained and so uh, we're working on efforts with them to, to, to reduce the the impact of this outbreak on their ability to function. Uh, we're also focusing on, pr on protecting the highest risk individuals in our community and those would be people who are elderly, people who have underlying um, chronic conditions, especially people for example who are in long-term care facilities. These would be our most vulnerable, most fragile individuals, the ones most at risk of having a bad disease. So we're focusing on trying to protect them to the best of our ability for being exposed to the virus. Um, and then thirdly, for the community as a whole, we're trying to help people understand that there are things we can all do to reduce our chances of being exposed to the coronavirus and reduce our chances of becoming sick with it. Um, the good news is that we know that this is a disease spread through respiratory droplets. Well, respiratory droplets are the things that come out of our mouth, out of our nose. And um, it's obvious when you cough or sneeze that these things come out of, of your mouth. But what may not be so obvious is that most often the way we, we pass droplet diseases to other people is actually through our hands. Our hand may be what we cough into or it may just be that we touch our mouth or our nose and then we, we touch your hand and your hand comes to your mouth. So there's a chain of transmission there that we can break. Obviously it's hard to control the sick person's ability or willingness to touch their face um, and you, you, you might not even always be able to, to stop a person from shaking hands I mean, or hugging you, family, friends, etc. But what you can do is not bring your hand to your face without first washing it with soap and water or with a hand sanitizer. So if we can develop the, the habit religiously of doing that, then we protect ourselves from exposure to the coronavirus and other respiratory diseases in the workplace and outside the workplace. And you know, whatever transmission may be occurring in the workplace, there's a lot of it occurring in our community and we're all part of that community. So we have to really recognize that it's there and, and do what we would do for flu protection and protection against all the other diseases that we have during cold and flu season and treat this in the same way. Uh, obviously, in addition here in the health, in, in the workforce, we've also made sure people have access to hand sanitizers and, and to, to wipes to, to keep our surfaces clean. But, but the, the truth is that the most common way this disease is spreading is through the hand as a direct vehicle of taking the droplets to the next person. So if we pay attention to that, we can do a tremendous amount to reduce our risk and our family's risk of acquiring this disease.